Hello and welcome to a new video according my little project here and my little temperature controller. Uh, last time we used this this uh, I squared C interface here uh, to control an LCD display. And this worked that well. Look what I've bought. <laughs> Bigger one. Four four lines, I think 20 columns or something like that. Uh, bigger one, okay? And I want to try if this is also working. It has the same Hitachi driver and so on. If this is also working, so I will simply remove this here. It came without those, those connectors, okay? It came without those connectors. So I soldered here uh, a female, female connection line. I will just take this here out. Just take it out right. It really, it really is inside. That's a pretty new breadboard. Let's see. I'll just connect it here. And that's all. And let's see what it's. What is the result of this? Uh, what? Let's see what's the reason of this. Can you see it? Uh, try to arrange it afterwards. I'm already eager, no? Aha! Uh -huh. uh, we see something. Let's see if it's starting up. If it's main page. <laughs> Parameters. Temperature. It is working. It is working. See? How easy it was. So I will use this bigger one. I like it. I like it. Yes, I like it. All right. Uh, so, what else? Uh, we said we want to, to use uh, the temperature sensors. I'm going to use these DS18P20 temperature sensors. They're looking like that, eh? or at least this is one one style, yeah? and they have three connectors on the other side. Yeah, I mean it's plus and minus and a data line, all right. And this is a one wire bus, so I, you can power supply them with five volts, so you can power supply them with three to three volt. Does not really matter. Eh? And what you need is one wire connection. Yeah. One wire bus needs to have a 4.7 K ohm resistor between plus a pull up resistor between plus and, and, and the data line. So we'll simply place, place it somewhere here. Let's make here. Let's make here the connection. Yeah, I will place here plus and minus. So I need some cables. They are over there. So here at this side, I will place minus. Go in. Minus. At this side, I will place plus. And the middle one is the data line, all right? The middle one is the data line, and I will connect the middle one. Let's see if I have yellow cable. Yes, there's one yellow cable left. I will connect the middle one, uh, and I will use as input, as one wire pin, I will use pin number eight here. So this should be the this should be the connection all right should be the connection and i will also use this where have i put it this sensor oh, here here it's on my lap <laughs> use this sensor i have soldered i have soldered the, the tips so i can push them inside simply hopefully Hopefully simply, yes, it's working, if it's really, let's see, 
you will see this it's two plug it in Okay, connected, we are powered up. Let's see if this is getting hot. If it's getting hot, it's a, not a good sign eh? because then something is wrong, but it feels normal. Okay, so now we can program this. All right, now we can program this. I will immediately... No, let's, let's just try to get a temperature. Let's just try. Switch to a computer. Okay, so the first thing I will change is at LCD start. Where is it? There must be somewhere set up. LCD start. It not, it's not 16, it's 20 sides and it's four columns. <laughs> Good. And uh, I define a new input pin. Define, I'll call it 10 pin, uh, and this was pin number 8, all right? And of course, I already also uh, had a new library programmed. Yeah? It's called DS18 between the temperatures. I will use it, okay? This is DS18 b20 temperatures and this already includes the one while library and everything else you need uh, to to use it all right so uh, we will read this now it's called temp sensors okay temp sensors, that's the coding object, and I call it temp sensor. And I have to give the pin number for the one wire connection, this is 8, yeah. and I have to give a resolution, I want to have it at 12-bit resolution, so highest possible resolution of this, of this uh, sensor, yeah. and I have to give a debug board, all right? Ah, serial. So this means whenever the, the library wants to print out something, it will go to the serial port, okay? So this is the address, this is an address operator. It means hand over the address of the serial port and if temperature sensors wants to print something out yeah, due to some method I call, yeah, then this is done. Yeah. So what is happening actually? As soon as this object is created, it will scan pin this pin number yeah, and all available temperature sensors at this pin number, at this one wire bus, bus, will be added to a list of temperature sensors. And via this temperature sensors object, I can access each sensor individually. All right. Uh, how is this done? I will also make long yeah? and I will call it process temperature. I will have I will have three different temperatures. I will have the process temperatures at the temperature I want to control. I want to record the temperature of the heat sink and I want to record the temperature of the air, yeah? of the cooling air or heating air or whatever this is. So the process temperature in the beginning it shall be zero. Eh? And we want to read in uh, 
I will also make another timeout. Yeah. Read temps, read temperatures. And this I will do, I don't know, twice a second. Should be, should be sufficient. Or maybe every th three times a second, around three times, three times a second. Okay. And in loop, I will make if read temps timed out. Read temps set now. And process temp equals. And now I have to call temp sensors dot and now get temperature and an index. And this index must be zero because right now it's just one. Yeah, it's just one sensor there. Yeah. Well, I just want to check if this is working. Good. Good. And I will print this value simply somewhere just to just to display display the value right now. So I make LCD dot. Uh, I set cursor. I will print it at the bottom line. <laughs> Three. I will just output the temperature. Process temp. And this, this is stored as a long variable, yeah? and the last two are the commas, so I will make them uh, float. Divide them by 100, and I think this should already display the temperature. Well, let's try to upload. Let's try to upload and see what is done here. I now print it out regardless of where I'm writing. Twenty-four. Twenty-four Where is it? Here. Here is the sensor. I grab it now. Yes, it is reacting. <laughs> All right, so I can read in sensor temperatures. All right. And it must be written regardless on which page I am. If I'm changing now the page, yes, simply there. And it's written in the fourth line. like it. Good. So now I can at least read in a temperature sensor. Yeah? I will connect the second temperature sensor and see if this, if I can find out, can find out which is which. Okay. So I'll, let's connect together the second temperature sensor. Okay, so I have the uh, second temperature sensor. This is already connected to my device here. This is the heatsink. All right, so this is the heatsink. So I will simply add it. Uh, and then right now we have 36 degree. Ah, uh, 26, 36. <laughs> it's winter time, it's not 36. Plug it in.
Okay, plugged it in. I will restart now. Let's see. Let's see what we read. 25. Is it still this one? Yes. So this is still working. This and the other sensor, which is built in here in my device, this is not working right now. All right. So, but however, actually, I should have two sensors. I should have two sensors. So let's check with the program. So, at the program, I am. I will just call this second time. However. I am now reading temperature 1 yeah? and I will not set this to process temp. I will simply put this away. I will simply write it out like that. Yeah? And I'm using index number 1. So the next, the next one. Right? Let's upload this. Let's see if it's working. If we find two sensors, yeah? so the the value above must be now uh, must be now uh -huh, twenty three dot eighteen. Yeah. Let's see this one. As this, and if I'm touching the sensor somewhere, he must be somewhere here. Yeah. Here, here I will should also be able to influence this. Yes, yes. So I'm getting reading of both signals. You see, it's indeed a bus system. I can access two sensors as well. All right. Now we have to take care about the mapping. Now we have to take care about the mapping. So that you know the order. It's not the connection order. It's the order of the one wire address in there. And if we change a sensor, it has a different address and it not, does not necessarily mean uh, this order is the same. All right. So I have to remember somehow which sensor is reflecting which temperature. This is some coding. Huh? We will do this in next video. Huh? For us now, it's fine that we can read in two different sensors and we get two different temperature values. All right? I think that's already pretty nice. Yeah. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.